Hello, today we are on site at Meals on Wheels with Tim. And Tim, we know that you guys are giving food to the elderly population in the form of Meals on Wheels, but talk about what else your mission does. Uh, we also provide companionship. Volunteers usually spend a couple of minutes chatting with the seniors, see how they're doing. It's also a way to do a welfare check on them, make sure everything's good with them. Now talk a little bit about the meal, sort of what's going into it. Um, so we always have protein, vegetables, fruit, milk, basic nutritional needs that the seniors need. Sure. And they're actually being made in this kitchen, is it Monday through Friday? Yes, we deliver Monday through Friday. All the meals are prepared here in our kitchen. Got a staff of about 15 here and work every day to get it all ready to go out. We service about close to 400 home delivered meals. I'm mean, at about the same at our congregate sites. We're Western South Dakota based out of Rapid City and there's 52 communities that we serve. Wow, that is no small feat. You need a lot of volunteers. Yes, on average about 520 a month because we have 26 routes here in Rapid City that we deliver to and Monday through Friday. Typically we have our volunteers deliver just once a week the same route, that way they get to know their seniors that way. The meals start leaving our kitchen at 10.30 with the last ones going out around 11. And the routes usually take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half if it's one of the outer edges of town. Now, have you ever volunteered for these meals? Yes, I started as a volunteer. I volunteered for four and a half years and then came on board as an employee to help coordinate the volunteers. Yeah. It was immensely rewarding to, I didn't realize how much I would become attached to the people that I delivered to. And then I found I was taking time off from work to fill in when they needed just because I enjoy doing it so much. The impact that it has on the seniors is phenomenal. The, the way they just light up getting to see somebody because sometimes the volunteer is the only person they see that day. So we did add a new route which brought us to 26 routes a day. Our routes were getting kind of large. We've had on average about three or four new seniors on the program each week. When the routes get really large then we create a new route to spread out the deliveries so that it's not such of a burden on one volunteer. And now with the new route, I'm assuming more volunteers are needed. Right. We're right now needing uh, 13 new volunteers because we were already short a little bit. Some of our volunteers just drive seasonally, either in the summer or the winter. And so right now we're losing some of our summer volunteers and needing to fill those gaps. Okay. Now if somebody is watching this and thinking, okay, I could probably volunteer. Sort of what are they getting into as far as time commitment and that type of thing? Um, time commitment, it's roughly between hour to an hour and 45 minutes, probably maximum. We have the volunteers come to our kitchen and they put a sign in their window which route they have and then we bring the food out to them, load up their vehicle and send them out on their way. Yeah, pretty slick deal. Now what if someone's thinking, okay, I can do it, but I can't do it every week or I'm on vacation this time. I guess what, what's the answer for that? We, we always have people that you know need to take time off and so we also have substitute drivers that for people that can't commit, they'll send us a list you know, saying I can deliver these three days of the month or we put them in when there's we're short a driver because they're on vacation or if someone gets sick then we have to call around and try and find last minute fill-ins. Right, right. So I guess what, what's your sort of pitch to folks at home, you know, to why volunteer? Just the rewarding feeling that you get by going out and helping the seniors in the community and getting to know your neighbors. We also do have a program where we can uh, reimburse for mileage, so I know with rising gas prices that's kind of a concern. So what's the info, where to go if they're interested? The best way to start is either to go to our website, we have a link there for interested volunteers, it's mealsprogram.com, or they can call our office, which is 605-394-6002 and ask for myself, Tim, or uh, my colleague, Cherie. Have you come in, we'll either take you out on a route ourselves, or if we're occupied, then send them out with another volunteer to see what we do and if it's something that they would enjoy. All right, let's get some volunteers then, huh? Exactly. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Anna, we appreciate it. You bet.